Hello and welcome back to Infinity Remote Control. I'm John and today we're going to be unboxing an RC Timer product. Now these are the 35 millimeter outrunners that they sell for multi-rotors. I'm going to be putting it onto my DJI F550 which will soon be a DJI F800 which is basically an F550 um, frame with extended arms that RC Timer sells. Now, uh, just kind of a background, I've never actually purchased anything from RC Timer, um, but they were very cheap motors. I believe that they were only $25, and um, I really couldn't pass up the deal, so I just wanted to try them out, and uh, we'll see what happens. Now, upon doing some research, I found that after I purchased these motors, a lot of people have had problems with the bearings. Now, that's something that a lot of the cheaper uh, motors have a problem with, especially the ones from Hobby King. Um, so I've actually already opened one up and here it is. Now, uh, upon first look, you see that it has a very, very nice shiny blue anodized kind of cover on it. Well, actually, that's not the cover. Um, and you, you see that you have a couple little um, holes here for cooling and uh, it all just looks very very nice and it looks machined um, and well put together uh, you can see the windings in there uh, the shaft is fairly large you have three holes right here and then you have four on the bottom now with the motor they give you an accessory pack already included so you don't have to go ahead and purchase it separately um, here you can see that you have something if you want to mount it up for like an airplane or maybe a helicopter and then here you have your multi-rotor specific mount and you can also use this for an airplane. Now unlike uh, some other mounts that the Hobby King motors typically use, um, uh, many multi-rotor motors nowadays don't come with the shaft, they come with no shaft and then you basically just bolt the accessory kit right on. Uh, now with this you basically have kind of like a clamping down thing where let's see if I can get the, the nut off you can see that you have all of these parts come on focus and then they kind of just go down onto that and then clamp down as you tighten your prop on and that just slides right over the shaft so you put that down then you put your prop on and then you tighten down the nut and as that tightens down, that will clamp it down harder and harder onto the motor shaft. Um, so it's a neat design. Uh, a little bit more technical specifi specifications with this motor. Um, they say that on a 12 by 6 inch electric propeller running on 4S, you can get 2.1 kilograms of thrust from it. Now that's a pretty huge number, and that's one of the main reasons why I actually gravitated towards these motors um, because their their claims of high power thrust uh, absolutely outstanded um, was outstand outstanding to me sorry and um, that's why I really just wanted to try them out uh, also apparently they only draw 30 amps of current at that at that power on 4s here's some of the the screws that they come up as well um, so I will be able to run my DJI 30 amp ESCs hopefully safely with these motors. Um, if not, I may have to go down to a smaller prop, maybe a 11 or 10 inch prop. And here I'll go ahead and open another motor for you. This is how they come packaged. And it's fairly nice actually. Um, the, you just feel like you're getting a quality product with these. Uh, here you have your accessories pack. And I'm sure that you can buy those separately and then you have the motor uh, protected with some kind of foam and they are fairly heavy um, I do believe that all this is going to come in weighing at just over one kilogram I think that they're mm, I don't want to lie to you but I think that they're about 200 grams a piece now a lot of people are probably wondering all right why get a 35 millimeter motor um, one big thing about motor sizing for outrunners is that even if they say like 35, 25, uh, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a 35 millimeter diameter. 
uh, if they say 2535 uh, or 2525 it could still be 35 millimeter or sorry 2825 it could still be 35 millimeters wide and just like with the DJI motors they're on their outer like physical diameter they're 28 millimeters but their advertised is 22 and then whatever number it is high so it's kind of confusing now with 35 millimeter motors you're typically gonna have two different styles you're gonna have these which are much taller than they are wide or you're gonna have something called pancake motors which are very thin and um, basically the only difference is power um, a lot of the larger multi-rotors that are carrying the DSLRs are using pancake motors something around the 44 42, 48 millimeter, maybe in 52 millimeter range, um, but they're much flatter. And you also are not having to worry about the prop adapters, they're very low profile. And uh, some people do prefer that in terms of efficiency, but I just wanted to go straight for the, uh, the power and the, the smaller diameter. So although they may be higher, they're just as strong as something with a larger diameter. Now, finally, as a comparison, a lot of people will be wondering, all right, what are they like compared to the DJI motors? Well, they actually make me laugh with the DJI motors now. There is the stock DJI motor, and there is the upgraded motor. So you can see that there is a huge, significant difference between the two in size. And um, that's basically just going to allow me to lift larger things. So, of course, there will be a follow-up on how these motors are working, and if you see in later videos of mine that I'm flying with these motors, that basically means that they're working. But I will update you on whether or not the bearings are working, uh, if they actually do draw more than 29 amps. And also, sorry that I'm not super uh, informed on the technical specifications of these, but I do believe that you can run more than um, of 4S on this. Now what's interesting here is this is 2826, right? Well, that's that's a really good example of what I'm talking about in terms of size. This is a 35 millimeter wide, but they they don't uh, judge off of that, so they're calling it a 28 by 26. Um, so yeah, uh, I really hope that I do enjoy these motors, and I'll update you guys later. Thanks for watching.